The historic 1998 Holy Day of Atonement address, Atonement, the healing for a sin-sick nation, is now available. Hear the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan speak on such topics as America, a modern Nineveh, how President Clinton can save the country, Atonement, the healing ball, the eight steps of atonement, what are they? You can add this historic address to your collection on CD or videotape for the unbelievable price of only $19 per item. To purchase this and many other lectures by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, call the Final Call Administration Building at 773-602-1230 or write to 734 West 79th Street, Chicago, Illinois, 60620. that he is now in who's not fit for self. Uh-huh. If I had a hundred sheep and one of them got away, I would leave the 99, go find one. have to be completely uh, made over again. Look from the docks and doors of Satan, I come create, penetrate with force from the land of the Lord, some coming. Like Muhammad got the devil on the run, rising like the sun, keep your eyes on the one, look them base, here to bring forth the reborn nation, up against the norm, creating a new formation, this foundation. The historic Million Family March is now available on video cassette, featuring the timely and inspiring message by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. The family is the basic unit of civilization. that God will allow me time on this earth to do something in the remaining years of my life to change the reality of the condition of human suffering yes. among my own people yes. and among the whole human family of our planet. February 1981, and what you are seeing is only a part of a two-day event. The event, Savior's Day, the nation of Islam's first celebration of its kind in over six years. But to most of those present, it wasn't just Savior's Day. It was a rebirth, a rebirth of the nation of Islam. on topics from communication to religion. There are also sessions covering self-defense and physical fitness. These seminars and workshops discussed almost every subject vital to the survival of black people everywhere. One that many of you know, Sister Tanetta Muhammad. Let's yeah. bring her on. Come on, baby. It is the day of the Muslims' defensive battles in which truth 
is being hurled at falsehood until it knocks out its brain. With more than 4,000 people in attendance, not only was this great event a learning experience, it was the first bold step in rebuilding a nation, a new nation of Islam. It hooks into you over a long period of time, and you're not really even aware of it. That's why one of the highest, one of the greatest resistance to treatment is the fact of denial. Well, I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not a drug addict. I can handle it. And, and they give you all these rationales, but when you look at the whole picture, you can see, hey, they are. What is advertising? Advertising is simply designed for one purpose. I don't care what anybody says. To create the desire in your mind and in my mind to buy whatever they have. They match, they create the product here, they match the desire here, bring them both together and walk off with hundreds of millions of billions of dollars in the black community. They do it through billboards. They do it through Ebony and Jet magazine. I challenge you to pick up Ebony magazine, and this is not an attack, this is a fact. If a man's gonna be in business, he has to have advertising. Okay? But if you look at Ebony magazine and count how many uh, of liquor advertisers is in there in comparison to other ones. I want to show you how it works. I bought two books with me. One is called Techniques of Persuasion. We are men and women who happen to be black who have the occupation and the responsibility of being the police and as corrupt as that system is, it's no different than America is corrupt. The government in America is corrupt in every instance. So of course the police is the, the lowest line of government. But if we're talking about surviving in this country, we're going to either have to confront government in those areas that they have a responsibility in, and, and, and if we're part of it, we got to be twice as determined. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not like we can ignore the responsibility of being the police. It's not an a, 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 a ego trip. I'm afraid that if we come back on the police, all of the police might turn into a vigilante group and do what they want to do to black folks without any opposition. And at the same time, I realize our limitations, and I think your power as a, as a, as a community, my power as an authorized representative of the community is the combination that's going to make these folks do the right thing. To understand just how long this trip was for some people, you would have had to have been present. It's the lot. convention 1974 <laughs> to see the greatest black man that the world have ever known. And everyone stands. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I'm afraid to do to our love for the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Salam Aleikum. In the name of Allah, the most merciful. To whom all holy praises is due. <laughs> the Lord of the worlds. I'm so happy to see your smiling faces out here. We're happy to see you out there, Pastor Sam. <laughs> all praises is due to Allah. made it possible for us to meet here this day, to give honor, thanks for his coming and for his blessings. He has now come in our midst. He is with us. We don't see him as a spook. Right. That's right. He is no spook. He is a live man. He's a living God. I'm going to turn the uh, me and over to the secretary. He has lots to tell you.
the name of Allah, who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, and in the name of his true servant and last apostle, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Salam Alaikum. First of all, brothers and sisters, I would like to thank the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Nation of Islam for allowing me to attempt to represent them as the National Secretary. You know, the Bible says that the last messenger will have a government upon his shoulders. Right. Now this obviously must mean that the man has to be the foundation and the support for a new nation. A look at the accomplishments of the government established by the Honorable Eliza Muhammad proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that he is this man. In order to move right along, brothers and sisters, I would like to just read to you a list of some of the enterprises of the nation of Islam. You know, this nation that they talk about that operates mom and pop shops. We'll, tell, we'll show you exactly what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is truly doing. Salam Restaurant. The Muslim import stores. The Muslim fish house. The Shabazz grocery store. The Shabazz bakery and coffee shop. Temple number two clothing store and office building. The new sales and office building on 78th Street. The Guarantee Bank and Trust Company. Progressive Land Developers. Good Foods Incorporated, which is meats, produce, and eggs. Chicago Lamb Packers, a national trucking system, an aviation department at Gary, Indiana, Muhammad Speaks newspaper plant, which is a, a coal storage and warehouse, over 200 apartment units, not to speak of the single family dwellings that he has put his followers in, farms in Michigan, farms in Georgia, farms in Alabama. Over 150 temples in North America, Bermuda, Jamaica, and Honduras. Over 46 Muhammad Universities of Islam. In the planning stage, a 500-bed hospital. A new Islamic university. The temple number two renovations and the new university at the temple, at, at, uh, temple number two on Stony Island Avenue. The Cottage Grove redevelopment plan, which runs from 78th Street to 87th Street on the east side of Chicago, uh, east side of Cottage Grove. In the design stage. The Phoenix, uh, Arizona development proposal, which is also in the design stage. Salam Snack Shop, your supermarket, Shabazz Baker, Shabazz Barbershop, Shabazz Restaurant, Capital Cleaners, National Clothing Factory, National Fez Factory, and again, residential homes. What our leader and teacher, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, is leading us to. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, in our business enterprises during the past year, we moved toward $50 million right. in incomes. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I know. What we are all awaiting, and that is the message from our leader and teacher, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. So in closing, I would like to say just this, that the followers of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad have distributed in the hells of North America during this past year over 34 million Muhammad Speaks newspapers. Brothers and sisters, 
I thank you very much for your time and your attention. Thank you. And at this time, I would like to turn you back into the hands of our leader and teacher, the last messenger of Allah, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes. Salaam alaikum. We cannot sit down. We cannot lay down. Yes, sir. We must get up. Yes, sir. And go to work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise it be, God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What must be done? Yes, sir. We have God with us. We have Him as our guide. Yes, sir. We don't have to stand around here and ask the question, what must be done? Yes, sir. Get up and let's go and do something. Yes, sir. Perhaps the greatest legacy to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad left his people was others to carry on his work. This is because the messenger was a visionary with insight and ability to develop others who could lead and teach effectively. One of his best students was this man, Minister Louis Farrakhan. Listen to what the messenger himself had to say about him. This is one of the strongest national preachers that I have in the bounds of North America. Everywhere you hear him, listen to him. Everywhere you see him, look at him. Everywhere he advises you to go, go. Everywhere he advises you to stay from, stay from. So we are thankful to Allah for this great helper of mine, Minister Farrakhan. And I say continue to hear our Minister Farrakhan. I 